and the tail of the tape. Jacobs, a couple of years older, turned 35 only last week. He's had the more fights, but John Ryder has been involved in more rounds. But how much will those figures matter tonight? How much is there left in Daniel Jacobs? How much can the hunger and desire of John Ryder hold sway? Okay, boys, if a cold break, take a step back. Don't throw any punches on the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, boys. So a rousing night here in North London. Another rowdy British fight night with so much at stake for John Ryder. He stated it himself that without a win here tonight, he can't see where else there is to go. An eliminator for the WBA super middleweight title. And Daniel Jacobs in the orthodox stars moves so swiftly into Southport, has done throughout his career. He's been in generally against a better caliber of opponent. But the question during the build-up to this fight is how much of that Daniel Jacobs is left in terms of ability, but also in terms of hunger and desire. Look at the study in the eyes of Daniel Jacobs. Probing with the left hand, looking to dominate with that lead jab. Ryder looking for the counters. Jacobs, a world champion, previously in the middleweight division. And saying here in an interview with us this week how determined he is to become a two-weight champion as Ryder tries to get off, but taken on the gloves by Jacobs. He works away to the body in the closing seconds of the opening round. Back on the stick! Back on the stick! No drama in the respective corners. Andre Rosier and Tony Sims with John Ryder, two of the most experienced and respected trainers in the sport globally. And Sims saying to Ryder that the key is to get in close, that Jacobs wants to keep it at long range. Sharp work with the South Court jab for Jacobs. Beaten three times in his career, but at the very highest level by Golovkin, by Canelo Alvarez, and back in 2010 by Dmitry Pirov. As Ryder has success with the right hook for just about the first time in the contest, and Jacobs is urged forward by Rosier and the others in his corner. Well, Jacobs here in North London on the first appearance in Britain in his professional career. And he throws that left hand from the southpaw stance, and, and it's usually like that, like a hook overhand kind of a left hand. But he did hear it coming out of the clinches, Ryder just wasn't expecting the punch to come. That was that right hand that you mentioned, Mike, pinpoint right hand. A lot of wrestling, a lot of um, holding that round, and that will suit Ryder. Ryder is probably the physically stronger man. I can see from here, Mike, that Jacobs is fainting a lot, even with his eyes. He's looking at Ryder's body, maybe throwing a body shot, but he's looking at the body and throwing a shot for the chin. Very clever fighter. All of that experience down the years coming to the fore now. This man of 40 fights old and 35 years old, turned 35 last week. A lot of questions as to how much he had left. And indeed, if there is to be a sapping of the energy, then we wouldn't be finding out just yet. But so far, he's looking the sharper of the two, and he's finding a home for his choice of punches more so than Ryder. Ryder is really struggling to find the openings himself. Jacobs looking so calm and so assured at this stage as we come to the last few seconds of the third round. Ryder 
looking to land up close, but good footwork again from Jacobs. Read what was coming at him and danced the way out of danger. So John Ryder, when he gets close, has got to take the opportunities. He did against Callum Smith and ran him so, so close. But here against Jacobs, Jacobs up to now, in most cases, has had his measure. Some decent footwork by Jacobs has been the key here. Presenting angles, as he did there for Ryder, to try and close down. And Ryder failing once again. Got a counter right hand now, uh, uh, Jacobs. And a good, and a good one. Cup. Yeah, now he's going to use the jab. Jacobs. He's going to use the jab, 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 and try and walk right into the right hand, just like that. Just like that. with a brilliant spell and then Ryder knowing he had to respond is then outfoxed on the ropes having been outfought in the centre of the ring. And now Ryder drives him back to the ropes and works away on the inside. Has to take those opportunities when he gets them up close. Much better. That shot's there for him. He leans to his right and throws the left hand. That shot's there for John Ryder. But he's got to be careful not to get countered. Good shot from Jacobs. Long range and short range. Again, Jacobs tying up on the inside. So Ryder can't get to work in the space that he wants to. Both men landing solid right hands. Some question whether he would be able to produce his best form away from home. Well, he did it as an amateur, and so far here tonight, even though Ryder had plenty of success there in that round, Jacobs came back there with that lovely right hand, which he's landed previously in the contest as well, Andy. Yeah, and this one especially, the double jab right hand. Just gets jumped back and up, leaning out, trying to avoid the jab, and he comes straight through with the right hand. But a good, good shot all the same. Excitement in the corner of Ryder. They want to see more of that. They want more successes like that. Good, good shot from Ryder. But Jacobs took it well and comes firing back. Now this is where Ryder wants the fight. Two solid left hooks and suddenly Ryder is right back in the fight. 20 seconds to go in the seventh round. And Jacobs now is taking more shots here than he's taken in the contest so far. And suddenly this crowd Says you need a big round. Get back on top. And so he switches to the South Bull start. Will he be looking for that pinning overhand left? He does. But Ryder sees it coming and just sways away from that danger. Ryder needs to build on that success now. Keep it going, keep the momentum going. Good this is better from Ryder now. And a good body shot. That right hook and the left uppercut. Good work from Ryder on the inside. 
side. This is his kind of fight. This is his kind of range. And he drives Jenkins back to the ropes. And Jenkins is forced to hold on. Last few seconds. Ryder again comes Charlotte at the end of the round. And it's all for working his hands on the inside. Now. And Jenkins not firing back. Step around. Angles are going to be it all time right. and work on the inside from Ryder. Not, not allowing Jacobs to hold him. Being too nice on the inside. Working his hands. Forcing the opponents. And then he just carried on the momentum. Can he keep it going now, Mike? Can he keep it going? Sharp jab from Ryder. Beats him to the shot. Wasn't doing that earlier in the contest. And a good shoe shining on the inside. Jacobs has messed around and got himself involved in a fight he didn't need to be in. He was boxing and stepping around well. But he's given Ryder this chance, this opportunity, and Ryder is taking it right now. Now Ryder opens up again, and once again they jump in his corner. They're urging to continue at this work rate, with this volume and this power of punch. Jacobs breathing heavy, and his punches don't seem to have the same snap that they once had. That left hand over the top from Jacobs seemed to take an age to travel, where once it was very sharp. Exchange of jabs. Good jab from Jacobs, it has to be said. Then a left hand from Ryder, being urged forward by his corner, and by Darren Barker alongside us, as Ryder works away inside the final minute of the ninth round. But he did so well against Cameron Smith. This was the one two that was. That Jacobs threw right in the midst of all of that. From right out. Overcut the hook. Working his hands at close range. This is, this is his wheelhouse. This is where he's comfortable right now. Jacobs needs to get back on the. Not on his bike, but move. Use his legs as he was so much in the early part of the fight. Good job from Ryder. He's had the right Jacob C in Southport. Ryder's been successful. The jab again when he's moving. Confusing messages then we get from Jacobs, who seemed to be dominating for the first half of the fight from the orthodox dance. And now having turned Southport is taking more punches than he did at any stage in the contest. Still though, looking Jacobs for that overhand left of his. Ryder forcing him to still win the round. Just needs a little bit more quality. And it's in those exchanges close up that Ryder's got to try to extricate himself, find that punching room for those uppercuts and those hooks that have been so productive for him in the previous three rounds. But Jacobs is showing that champion quality, the champion mentality coming back in the way he walks onto a couple of stiff south foot jabs from Ryder. Signs of a rally from Jacobs in this round, but it finishes with a lovely right hand from Ryder, followed by a jab. Well, Daniel Jacobs started this contest, an eliminator for the WBA Super Middleweight title as the odds-on favourite. But now this is an even money shot. This could go either way. Two rallies remaining. Can Ryder now swing it his way? Can that desire and hunger, if he really wants it more, can he show it across these final six minutes? Ryder's doing being very clever with his jab. He's just taking his head to his left, off the line, out of the way of Jacob's counter, and using his jab. Exchange from Jacobs, but better working response from Ryder. Last minute of the 11th round. Well, what drama we've had here at Alexandra Palace. And 
Jenkins on Gabe Rosario's scorecard pretty much only has to stand up to win, having taken the 10th and 11th rounds, despite some solid work from John Ryder. Jenkins, according to Gabe Rosario, finding that champion quality and coming back when it seemed at times fairly bleak. Last 20 seconds of the contest. Ryder then driving towards the body, looking for one last successful salvo. The corner imploring him to drive forward. One last, will it be vain attempt, working away on the inside. This is where he's been so successful during the contest, but at long range it's been Jacob's fight. Beltanz at the end of the 12th and final round, and there's a nod of acknowledgement from John Ryder as Jacobs goes to the Tony Sims corner. Tony Sims there goes over to his man. And Ryder, at one stage, looked as though he might be able to turn it his way. But Jacobs in that final round, Andy, found something again of that champion quality. Yeah, look, we'll see how the judges have it. You know, sometimes we're left scratching ahead, but... Ryder did, the second half of the fight was Ryder's, for sure. And he's got an argument to win the last few like rounds, 10 and 11, and may, not maybe 12, but he's got an argument. He's a really interesting scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Here are the totals. Judge Marcus McDonald scores it 115-113 for Jacobs. Mike Fitzgerald, 115-113, Ryder. And Sean Robert Lane scores it 115-113 to for your winner by split decision. From Islington, London, England, John the Gorilla.